All right, today we're gonna to talk about five Reposado agave spirits I really enjoy. I'll look into some mezcal, I'll look into some tequila. Both have been aged in wooden barrels, so let's dive into it. First off, what is Reposado? The translation from Spanish to English is calm or rested. Reposado style aging takes a base agave spirit, rests it in a wooden barrel for at least two months, but for no longer than a year. If it's aged over a year, that becomes añejo. The term for a base agave spirit from a scale is joven, or with tequila, blanco. The benefits of aging an agave spirit is that it incorporates the flavors from the barrel, such as oak, caramel, and vanilla. This can also give the agave spirit a smoother or milder flavor profile. But some agave spirit aficionados, especially in mezcal circles, prefer to drink unaged. The rationale being it takes so much time to grow an agave to maturity, at least six years and sometimes upwards of 30 years. Then there's the careful craftsmanship of cooking, grinding and fermenting the agave and then distilling it into an agave spirit. I myself do prefer to sip unaged mezcal or tequila, but I do enjoy a quality reposado from time to time. With that, here's some that I like to sip and I think you'll enjoy as well. All right, first one, we have Maguey Malate. Now I seem to find myself talking about Maguey Malate quite often and for good reason. They're a monthly mezcal subscription brand and in July, 2022, they came out with their first reposado mezcal release and it's a darn good one. So this fabulous reposado is brought to you by Pedro Santiago Martinez and family, and they're from Santiago Matatlan in Oaxaca. This espadine or agave angustifolia was aged in wood barrels for nine months. Love the flavors here with this. I get animal crackers, cherry blossom, grassy, and in the finish, a sweet and salty teriyaki, and it's 42% ABV, awesome stuff. And with respect to the barrel aging debate, Miguel Milate offered this on the back of their info card. Some believe the smoother reposado is not representative of traditional mezcal practices and is trying to imitate the whiskey market. Many others have pointed to the evidence that reposado is one of the most traditional expressions because historically producers use wood barrels to transport and store mezcal and therefore the practice of resting mezcal was driven by purely logistical needs. Some great insight and a fabulous Reposado Mezcal here. Maguey Malate, you've done it again. Next up, we have an awesome tasting Reposado Tequila. We have G4. This is made in the Los Altos region in Jalisco by Felipe Camarena. Flavors here, big time roasted agave and they get a nice tasty hint of sharp cheddar cheese. The barrel notes are subtle and very complimentary to what is a crazy good Blanco to begin with. I picked this up for $45 in California. I think G4 is easily one of the best value tequilas out there. Get some. All right, now we have Scorpion Mezcal from Oaxaca. So this brand was recommended to me by Alvin Starkman, who runs comprehensive educational mezcal tours throughout Oaxaca. Alvin is friends and colleagues with easily dozens of mezcaleros, mezcaleras throughout Oaxaca, and he had a lot of complimentary things to say about the owner and mezcalero for Scorpion, Douglas French. He mentioned the careful selection of the wooden barrels and the optimal conditions, specifically temperature, of the aging cellar. This is an Espadi Mezcal, 40% ABV. Flavors I get for this one, candy apple, an oak ember smokiness to it, and a long roast agave, sea salt, and toffee finish. I picked this up for $49. It usually retails for about $60 in California. I think that's a fair price for a solid Reposado Mezcal. Doug has been operating Scorpion Mezcal for over 25 years and has prioritized hiring single mothers. And with that, he's been helping his employees with Infonavit housing. So proceeds of this Mezcal do go to improving local communities. Next up, an absolute darling in the tequila circles, we have Fortaleza Reposado. This is from the Los Valles region in Jalisco, made by Guillermo Suaza, 40% ABV. Flavors here, grassy, some lemon citrus, oaky, a good amount of agave flavor here, but it tastes a little bit more aged than the G4 that I talked about previously. Some solid stuff here. I especially love Fortaleza's Still Strength Blanco. Regardless, this is a rockin' reposado. This final one I like because it's accessible in California, has a higher ABV, and it's a great price. We have the U-Ball 
Reposado. This is made by Mescalero Isaias Martinez Juan from San Juan del Rio, Oaxaca. Flavor notes, I get saltwater taffy, mesquite wood chips, and roast agave. This was rested in white American oak for six months, and the barrel notes are very complimentary. ABV, 48%. Uh, I'd say it tastes a little bit more like a low 40s, so not a lot of heat for what the ABV is. This is $49 in California, a great price, especially people that want to get into Mezcal or sip higher ABV. That's almost it for me today. I hope you've gotten value from these Reposado Agave Spirit selections. Like and subscribe for some more fun, informational Agave Spirit videos. Today I'm going to salute off with this guy in the middle, the uh, Scorpio Mezcal actual real scorpion in every bottle tasty stuff flip the sombrero around and give her a pour thanks a lot for tuning in guys really appreciate the support see you next time salute